I'm about to make myself from brunch. <laughs> I just put a touch of color on my lips. I'm about to wipe it all off. I just don't want you to see my crusty lips bare. And yes, I have on this purple bonnet because it has sentimental value for me. And it does good, uh, do a really good job, unlike my other bonnet, of holding secure around the around the edges. Uh, I apparently couldn't do the job of getting one as nice of my own accord because I never have gotten a bonnet that, that secure. Anyway, I'm making brunch and I realized I didn't show you the other meal that, that God has made for us last night. And I didn't even tell you the name of it. It was a broccoli and cheddar loaf. Remember, she wouldn't let me put other vegetables in it because we put a lot of, oh, you can see here. We put, we put some cheddar in the body of the meat, but we mostly had broccoli stalks in there. We made the meatloaf as typical and put broccoli stalks in there. You know how you have like broccoli and cheddar rice or broccoli and cheddar pasta, uh, fettuccine or something. Well, this is a uh, broccoli and cheddar loaf. It was delicious. And then there was a little cheddar in the body of it, like I said, and a lot of cheddar on the top with uh, green onions sprinkled in the melted cheddar that was on top. So it came out looking very, oops, boy, I don't, don't want to drop that because I'm going to eat it. So it came out looking very beautiful. Mm, let me get out, get out the shot. Get, let <laughs> Let me uh, have it, let it have its own close-up, yes. Broccoli and cheddar loaf, cheese toast. Before I fuck it up for brunch, I need to drink more water. So I brought this down here. Finish what I have in there. Refill that, refill this, drink it, refill it again. So, oh yeah. I might, I might have heated up a little too long, but yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Girl. Mmm. -hmm. It's like a broccoli and cheddar burger. Mmm. -hmm. I guess it is a broccoli and cheddar turkey burger broccoli and cheddar turkey burger because for those of you who are new I don't use ground beef in any of my recipes everything calling for ground beef I use ground turkey mm. that's another thing about the parchment paper it makes it easy to pick your leftovers up out of the pan and wash it. And you can just heat them up on a, in a new container without getting everything everywhere. I think I'm just going to use this because this is kind of, this is sticking above the Tupperware a little. And I don't want to smush it. I want to keep it in the low. So. I'll put foil around it. Same foil I cooked it in. See, repurposed. Oh, I do need to make my green juice. And I think that will settle my stomach. Let me do that now. That was good. I enjoyed it. Mr. said it was good. I hope it really was him because it just occurred to me what if he didn't really think it was that good but you know how you know your people so I think for some reason I think he was telling the truth one of those reasons being that he fucked up the um he fucked it up